What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to install a virtual display on Windows 10 or 11. I'm gonna be doing this on Windows 11, but this was made for Windows 10. So the first thing you're gonna do is head over to Amy Uni Technologies, and um, I'll put the link to this in the description. And what we wanna download is the USB mobile monitor um, software. And what we're gonna do is download the virtual display driver here. And that'll go ahead and download. And then you're going to extract that into a folder, preferably on your desktop so it's easy to find. And you'll see a list of files like this. Now, you're not going to run these files because you actually have to run this in command prompt. So instead, you're going to open up your start menu and type CMD, right click on command prompt, and run as administrator. Click on yes. And we're going to go ahead and navigate to our folder here. So what you're going to do is copy this. By clicking in our address bar, you're gonna highlight all this and hit Control C. And then we're gonna type CD for change directory, add a space and paste that in. And we are in that folder. Now, we're just gonna follow the steps on this website. And what we have to do is copy this command right here and then paste it here. And the driver is installed successfully. And then we have one more thing that we have to do and this might mess up the recording, but this is going to add another monitor and it's going to treat it as if you've just plugged in a new monitor to your PC. So that's why my screen might flash or it might even start recording the wrong screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in and press enter. That looks like, there we go. That looks like it still worked. And we're gonna test this out and see if there's a screen connected. Let's go to display settings. Yep, there it is. We have my three monitors that are actually plugged in and we have a new virtual display that we can use for whatever we need. All right, so let's go ahead and connect this display and we'll choose extend and we'll keep these changes. Great, now it's enabled and we can even go in here and switch the resolution to any resolution we like. So we can choose 1080p all the way up to 4K. Then if we wanna add more monitors, we can just go ahead and copy this and paste it in again and we can add up to four virtual monitors. And if you want to uninstall it, you can scroll down a bit and run these commands to disable it or uninstall it completely with these two commands. That's about it for this one. If you like this video, please go ahead and click on that sub or thanks button below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace. Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect, huh?